almost as elementary as asking a new friend their name or their favorite flavor of ice cream. Asking a new friend their favorite color is a great question really to get to know them. It's as if as kids we know instinctively that somehow the answer to that question will give us some deeper insight. Like, like the answer to that question says something deeper about them. Before we get into the nitty gritty, a little bit of physics. Thought you'd escape without it, huh? The color of light is determined by its frequency, which is the number of waves that pass a given point per second. Depending on the color of light, we will have one kind of photon or another. We can have a red photon, a blue photon, a purple photon, and etc. etc. The higher the frequency of the photon, the more energy it has. This is related to so many fascinating but complicated ideas in physics and quantum physics. A lot of what's going on is not visible to the human eye. Not visible doesn't mean it doesn't exist. This leads us to the other side of the dual nature of our 3D world. There's a physical side to the world and there's a spiritual side. Color and spirituality are deeply connected. Here are five ways that color relates to spirituality. Number one, chakras. The body has seven energy centers called chakras. Energy flows through these energy centers. If energy can't flow easily through the center, it is considered to be blocked and this can lead to health problems, relationship problems, and other issues. Each chakra is also associated with a particular color, frequency, and energy. To learn more about chakras, click the link in the description. Number two is the color of your aura. The aura is a torus field of energy surrounding our entire body, extending beyond us a meter or even more. It is called a subtle body sometimes. The aura size, color, and type determine your health, mental state, and frequency. Number three, art. To connect more with your spiritual side, you can connect through art and through colors. Some colors and color combinations can allow you to relax better. They can allow you to relax and feel calm enough to reach an alpha brainwave or even the theta brainwave. To do this, you can do mindfulness art like painting, coloring, mosaics. The third way that color is related to spirituality is through the color of the sky. The most beautiful sky is during sunset and sunrise when the sky is pink and orange. Pay attention, we all perceive color a little differently. These colors can be communicated from the heavens. Please see the link in the description for an article related to all of these colors and their meanings. And number five is the effect that color has on us in a psychological way. If you want to eat less, it's said that you should eat from a blue plate. If you want to attract attention, especially romantically, it is said you should wear red. And if you want to brighten others day, definitely wear yellow. The truth is the colors that you wear and surround yourself with determine your mood and even your outcomes. See this chart for all of the different outcomes and moods associated with each color. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something insightful. I hope that you're going to go out there and choose your colors wisely. Please leave a comment of something you found interesting. Tell me your favorite color. Tell me if your favorite color has changed throughout your life. Have a most wonderful day and be positively happy. Chickadee, come on. Bella, come on, you gotta get out of the way. It's okay, climb, climb over here.